good morning it's a weekend morning some people are having tea but we'll keep walking at least for now because we are exploring another neighborhood of old delhi today this is actually a neighborhood which has a very interesting history that goes across different centuries this is called the turkman gate neighborhood of old delhi and turkman gate as i was mentioning earlier this has an extremely rich and an extremely interesting history of course uh, we see there's congestion and you literally have to go through these dark corridors and these narrow lanes to look for history and to experience history so of course there's some more maintenance that can be done here but still history lives here and turkman gate is actually a neighborhood within shah jahanabad which was built by shah jahan in the 1600s which is the simple stuff you probably already know about but it houses monuments uh, which were actually existing hundreds of years before shah jahanabad was actually built <coughs> excuse me so as we experience this one more nice walk within the turkman gate neighborhood of shah jahanabad we'll actually see this monument which was built in the 1200s this is actually the tomb of sultan razia or razia sultan she was a female ruler of delhi in the 1200s and this tomb has pre-existed shah jahanabad so inside this complex you'll notice that there's not one but there are actually two tombs and there's a bit of a mystery about the second tomb but general consensus is that while one of the tombs is of course of razia sultan the other one is of her sister who was called sazia so yeah here we have both the sisters buried side by side for some more context razia was actually iltutmish's daughter iltutmish iltutmish is actually famous as the person who built the very popular monument of qutub minar in delhi and it's interesting that razia was actually buried so far away right here so that indeed is the mystery that while razia sultan ruled a kingdom which was seated close to qutub minar her tomb was built 15 kilometers away so the answer to the mystery probably lies in the name of this place turkman gate uh, which is actually named after a famous sufi saint who also lived here so shah turkman bayabani actually lived roughly in this neighborhood when it was actually all forested because shah jahanabad which was built in 1600s did not exist when shah turkman bayabani lived razia sultan was believed to be a disciple of turkmani and therefore she wanted to get buried close to where the turkman lived
history overload is it <laughs> so let's just take a deep breath and try to relax now try to enjoy the views and the sights the smells the sounds of Shah Jahanabad the cats of Shah Jahanabad <laughs> So we are of course still in Turkman gate and we will be exploring some more history but for now we'll relax. So you're still walking with me in the Turkman Gate neighborhood of Shah Jahanabad and what you're looking at is actually one more monument which is out of place here in Old Delhi. So this is the Kala Masjid which was built in the 1300s by Feroz Shah Tughlaq, so 300 years before Shah Jahanabad and a hundred few years after Razia Sultan. So yeah, you see that mishmash of history here in Turkman Gate. And of course, you see these wonderful visuals. Kala Masjid, built around 700 years ago. So, do you want this to be a chill, relaxing kind of walk or do you want me to tell you a little bit more about how this mosque came to be here in the middle of Shah Jahanabad when there was nothing else here except for Razia. So yeah, maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> so Feroz Shah Tukhlaq built this mosque here because of Shah Turkman, the Sufi saint. So maybe you can pause and read that. But mostly I've already told you this. So believe it or not, this was actually my first time in a mosque. And this was so peaceful and so beautiful and so satisfying. What a wonderful and intriguing place this is. So yeah, maybe a few more seconds of history. Of course, I am adoring this view. I think you are too. How the houses are so close to the 700-year-old mosque. But yeah, the reason Feroz Shah Tukhlaq built this mosque here was because, again, the very famous Sufi saint, uh, Shah Turkman Bayabadi, he was living here and eventually he was buried here as well so this place was considered very hallowed and Ferocia built this mosque here. So is that again too much of history? <laughs> so I think I'm just trying to paint I guess a clearer picture here with some of that historical context but of course this is not pure history history. Uh, for that, you should definitely read and research the actual books. So now, from that mishmash of Tughlaq and Mughal history, we'll go to something which is more clear. 
the Jama Masjid. The Jama Masjid is, of course, one of the most important, one of the focal points of Old Delhi. It was also built along with the other parts of Shah Jahanabad and it's a huge mosque. It was built as a grand mosque where thousands of people could congregate at the same time. But before we <laughs> go in there and congregate ourselves, we'll take a break, maybe we'll eat something or have some tea and take it from there. So in this locality around Jama Masjid, there are a lot of places which are famous for their food and this place looks like one, hopefully, which should be famous for its tea. So it's interesting how they're using something like an espresso machine for tea here. But we'll see how this is. It was average, I would say, the tea that we had just now. But what you're going to see now is anything but average. This is the beautiful and grand and iconic Mosque of Old Delhi. This is the Jama Masjid. It's actually one of the most famous mosques of India. It's one of the biggest mosques of India as well. And interestingly for us today, this is our second mosque. Of course, this one is kind of from a different era. And as you can see, it's a very different scale, a very different architecture as well. This was built by Shah Jahan, 1600s, mid 1600s, I think. Whereas the Kalan Masjid or the Kala Masjid that we saw earlier was built in the 1300s by Feroz Shah Tughlaq, which was again a different dynasty. So yeah, it's, it's very interesting how just very few kilometers from each other, you can experience both of these wonderful mosques. So what you'll notice about the Jama Masjid is that even its foundation, its base, sits at a very high level as compared to the surroundings. And the main reason for that was because Shah Jahan did not want the place of God to be at a lower level from where he would be seated uh, in the Red Fort, which is not too far from here. The Red Fort, of course, was the seat of power where Shah Jahan would stay. And the whole of Old Delhi or Shah Jahanabad was built around the Red Fort. <laughs> so is that once again too much of history? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. We'll just try to chill a little bit now, hopefully. Though I am recalling one more interesting historical bit, comparatively more recent history. <laughs> it's actually about New Delhi or the architecture of New Delhi. We'll talk about it. So we are climbing up one of the minarets and there in the distance is the red fort. And all around it is Old Delhi. How wonderful. So here we are right at the top and it's a little too cramped than is ideal 
but I think it's still definitely worth the experience. And the thing that I was mentioning about the recent history or New Delhi is that the Jama Masjid, the Red Fort, Connaught Place and the Parliament House, they're actually all in one straight line. It's believed that Latians, who was the architect of New Delhi, he kind of wanted to keep the older parts of Delhi in mind and in perspective and that's the reason why he explicitly made sure that all of those four were actually in a straight line. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so should we finally go down? I think we should. Let's go. So the thing with this passage is that it's a little too narrow and a little too dark. Of course they've got these interesting windows. So I think talking about New Delhi makes me think about New Delhi now as well. <laughs> of course New Delhi is more relaxing and more chill in a way and what what did you say you <laughs> you don't know that I've made a video about New Delhi as well <laughs> well I certainly have I've made a video about Connaught Place which is kind of the heart of New Delhi so yeah you should go check out that one as well but as far as this one goes we are stepping out of the Jama Masjid and also stepping out of this episode look at that such a beautiful door this exit is actually the east exit of Jama Masjid so it faces the Red Fort and just behind the Red Fort we've got the famous river of Delhi which is the Yamuna but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you again. Bye.